Hey guys, this is Blackheart Productions here, or Blackheart Movies. Um, so this is going to be a bit more advanced tutorial on um, Fume Effects. The last tutorial wasn't exactly very advanced, but it was very basic. And maybe you should check out that tutorial before you check out this. Um, so I'm in Fume, uh, sorry. <laughs> Autodesk 3ds Max 2013, and um, but it's basically the same as uh, 2011 and 2012. So let's get started. New empty scene. All right. So over this geometry right here, we're gonna go to standard primitives, click on it, go down to Fume Effects, click. Now uh, under Object Type, click on Fume Effects. We're going to create a grid. Press Control and click in the middle, and you create a grid. Now, release Control. Oh, sorry. Now, release your uh, right mouse button and uh, zoom out. Now, zoom out a lot and uh, make it really tall, like that. All right. Now we're going to zoom in a bit. Now we're going to go under helpers, the um, measuring tape, and we're going to go to fume effects under standard. And we're going to create a simple source. Two, we're actually going to create two simple sources. Um, now the first simple source, we're going to make it a sphere, so you don't have to press control or anything, but click in the middle of that um, X right there and create a sphere. Make sure the arrow is pointing up. Now, click if we go like here and we select up, we want to make sure this is above that uh yellow or orange line. All right, now we're going to create another simple source, but this time make sure it's a cylinder. All right, now we're going to click right in the middle. We're going to make it fairly wide, but we're going to shrink it down some. All right, so once we do that, we're going to raise it. And then we're going to go rotation ang or angle snap toggle. And we're going to uh, turn it 180 degrees. Now... You see how that arrow, that little arrow right there is right below? Well, we're going to take this up till right about there. Alright. Now that arrow is above. Well, let's move it up a little bit. Okay, now you see that little tiny arrow right there is above the orange line. Alright. Um, now, we're going to go to Fume Effects UI. So click on the grid, or the box, I mean, and we're going to click right here, Open Fume Effects UI. And, uh, should pop right up. We're going to set the spacing to 1.7, and the width to 200 by 200 or the length 200 and we're going to make the height I would say 750 all right so now I'll tell you what the things the sources are going to do first we're going to click object source we're going to click the sphere and then we're going to click after we click um pick object and then click the cylinder all right, now we're going to go, uh, where are we going to go? <laughs> now we're going to go to right here. We're on the cylinder, right? Right here, I'll say somewhere around cylinder. This is basically good, but we're going to set the directional up a bit. I would say just around 5, but the radial is going to be around 20. All right, and our turbulence is fine. All right, now we're going to go to simulation. 
and we're gonna go to quality make that a 10 and our uh, our uh, detail on turbulence noise up to 5 our advection stride we're gonna take down a bit to about 3.3 sorry alright our vorticity is going to go up to 1 and our X turbulence is going to go up to point four, point three. Sorry. All right. Now you're not going to see this, but on scale, drag it up until you get around. I would say, hmm, uh, about thirty. All right, and you're, you don't have to mess with offset, but frames, you're going to want to bring that up to about 30 or 40, sorry. So now it changes slowly. All right. Now we're going to go down here. Burn, heat production, we're going to bring this up to a 50. Fire creates smoke. Smoke density, we're going to make it a 4.5. Oh, yeah, and we're going to go back to object dash source. Source, sorry. And we're going to go to uh, smoke and change this to a 4. Um, our fuel and temperature is fine. Oh, wait. Now we're going to uh, go um, the, s the sphere. We're going to bring this temperature up to around 900. And the smoke to four. All right, simulation. Back to simulation. I think we are good here, but let me just go over here. Yes, I believe we are good. All right, now we're going to go open preview, and our preview should open. Now we're going to click start default simulation. Now we're going to want to zoom out a bit. So we're going to click on here and then zoom out. You know what? That's not that's not right. We're going to stop this. All right. Um Oh, first we're going to go to render and on here we're going to go key mode and we're going to double click and on you're going to click on this right here saturation down to all the way back to red but then we're gonna go on the green and change it till it looks something like that okay and now with our uh, smoke we're gonna bring it up just a bit alright now we're gonna go object source And we're, oh, what I forgot to do is set the directional up to, uh, about 20. Oh, another thing I forgot. I forgot to do the expansion. Okay, radial up to 6. And, uh, simulation. We're gonna bring our, uh, expansion up to a, uh, 3.3. And... Believe that's all. Now let's try it. Start default simulation. See now that looks a lot better so far. Over here is our default simulation. I know it doesn't show black smoke, but this is just because I'm in 2013, not say 2012 or 2011. Ah, spider. Sorry. Alright. I'm going to pause this really quickly and then come back to you once it's finished with the 100 frames of simulation. Alright, so this is basically our final thing right here. I'll show you a rendered version of it. Um... 
Here we go, rendered frame window. And production All right, and here we go. This is basically the final one right here. Let me go back a few frames. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. How about when it looks like nuke? Now that looks good. All right, I'll uh, show you a uh, basic, basically the explosion. All right, see you guys.